One perk of this job is every once in a while you get to meet a phenomenal sports figure. Usually they end up in the Hall of Fame. Dave Stevens won't be in Cooperstown or Canton, but none of those athletes have more courage. Not sure if you're going to meet many people in your lifetime like 54-year-old Dave Stevens. I feel blessed. You know, I wouldn't want to be any other way. I'm glad I was born without legs. Yeah, I guess if you've won seven Emmys at ESPN as an assignment editor, your career went pretty well. I won those Emmys based on my ability. It doesn't say, hey, he had no legs, we handed him this trophy. Nobody handed Dave Stevens anything. The man played high school baseball with no legs. And yes, he heard the hatred at times. This guy in the stands started screaming, saying, this is cheap baseball, he's a freak, he shouldn't be playing, he's a midget, this is wrong, he should be banned. And I kind of sat back and looked at my coach and I said, what should I do? And he said, get in there. So I got into the batter's box and that first pitch was in the ground, but that next pitch, I lined into right field for a base hit. This week, Dave came to St. Louis for an organization called Nubability. They put on clinics for kids with missing limbs. And Dave motivated those kids. If people can see me, they can be inspired by me. I think I can be a baseball player because it doesn't matter if you have two hands or one or none. You can do anything if you put your work into it. That's what Dave did. He even ended up playing for the St. Paul Saints and pinch hit for his friend Daryl Strawberry. He got to a Dallas Cowboy training camp, too. He's interviewed some of the biggest names in sports, all because he believed in himself. If they can see the triumphs that I've had without legs, people can't complain about, oh, my arm hurts, my leg hurts, my wife hates me, my girlfriend left me. You know, there's so many worse things in this life than not having legs. This is Dave Stevens for the Disability Channel. Tom Stasiak, our editor on that story. When Dave is not broadcasting for that network, he's giving motivational speeches around the country. He is something else.